Welcome to The Bee's Knees, a podcast full of articles, interviews, clinical studies, and advice about knee surgery, physical therapy, and life after knee surgery. Patella Baja, the most common knee condition nobody knows about. Written by Mike McClellan. Read by Carl Mina. Constant pain in the front and center of your knee. The inability to bend your knee into a crouched position. Not enough leg strength to stand up from a crouched position. Does this sound familiar? If so, there's a chance you may have patella baja. What is patella baja? Patella baja is a condition where the kneecap is positioned too low. It can make bending your leg past 90 degrees difficult to impossible. As if this lack of mobility isn't bad enough, it will also usually lead to weak leg muscles, more specifically, weak quadriceps muscles. With your kneecap sitting so low, the tendon above your knee is constantly being stretched more than it should, just to reach your kneecap. When you bend your leg farther and farther, it continues to stretch that tendon even more, and eventually it just refuses to stretch anymore, usually around 90 degrees. If your leg can't bend past 90 degrees, then any leg exercise you might do is only going to be strengthening over a limited range of motion. This may allow you to fairly comfortably sit up from a high-seated chair, but crouching down to pick up something isn't an activity you would attempt in your wildest dreams. People who have had previous knee injuries, from bone fractures to tendon ligament tears, are at increased risk of developing patella baja. You may think you're out of the woods if you've had a TKA, total knee arthroplasty, but that's far from the truth. Surprisingly enough, people who have had a total knee replacement have a higher increased risk of developing patella baja. Studies have found that the prevalence of the condition occurs anywhere from 25 to 34 percent of TKA patients. This typically starts a month after surgery and progressively worsens for up to four years post-surgery. What often happens is, after an individual has a TKA, they go through at-home and clinical physical therapy. Once that is complete, after typically four to eight weeks, they return to a mostly sedentary lifestyle. The longer they are inactive, the weaker their quadriceps muscles become, and the farther their kneecap will continue to drop. After a while, the kneecap drops so far that the quadriceps tendon is overly stretched. Then it won't allow the knee to bend much farther than 90 degrees, sometimes not even that far. Once their range of motion becomes limited like this, their strength just continues to diminish, making the likelihood of regaining adequate range of motion even smaller. So, one problem causes another problem, and so continues this vicious cycle. Although there is no known method for reversing patella baja once you have developed the condition, there are ways of treating it, and even better, ways of preventing it from happening in the first place. Promisingly, studies have found that regimented daily stretching and strengthening routines can bring back much of, sometimes all of, the range of motion. Increased flexibility will continue to improve their strength, and with good strength and flexibility, the person can live an active, normal life. Patella baja after TKA usually occurs due to inactivity. By staying consistent in your strength and mobility routines, you will almost surely avoid developing the nasty condition. As with most injuries that result in pain or swelling, post-exercise icing and elevating can go a long way during the rehab process as well. One mistake people with knee problems often make is only working to improve either their range of motion or their strength. If you only work to improve your range of motion, your quadriceps may remain unable to support you. In this instance, your condition will see very little improvement. If you only work on strengthening your quadriceps, they will get stronger, but you may end up with less flexibility. The key is to consistently stretch and strengthen, and over time, your condition can improve markedly. If you think there's a chance you may have this condition, run it by your doctor before attempting to treat it. This is because other types of knee injuries can have similar symptoms, but very different forms of treatment. To learn more, visit x10therapy.com, 1-855-910-5633.
Just a reminder, it's a huge help if you subscribe to, rate, and review our podcast. It helps people find us. X10, back to full strength.